Okay, y'all, jumping right into this video. This is what the wig looks like in its natural state. I did go ahead and section it off into five sections. And I sectioned off the front like it was a frontal, just because of how the highlights and stuff is gonna be in the front. But it's actually just a lace closure. And this whole wig is high glue gun. And I sewed on a lace closure. But just to save time, I bleached it the first time and then I bleached it again. So this video right here is the second time of me bleaching it. And I'm just showing you how much lighter it got. So I'm going to use some aluminum foils. I have cut some big pieces and like some medium sized pieces and some small pieces for the highlights. And what I got next? I got a comb and a brush. I don't even remember using them, but whatever. I got BW2 bleach and L'Oreal cream developer in 40. So I'm just gonna start by taking the bleach like up at the top and just making it lighter towards the root because I wanted it a little bit lighter I mean, I wanted the blonde a little bit higher. And now I'm focusing the bleach on the ends to make them lighter. And any spots of the hair that I may have missed or that I want lightened a little bit lighter. So this, this is the third bleaching process. And basically through this entire wig, I mean, through, through this entire process, I'm going to be just going through and lightening the ends and lightening up anything that I want to be lighter. So by the third time, I'm putting lumen foil on the ends just so it'll help it lighten faster it just won't be all exposed out in the air because the ends is what you really really want it to be like almost platinum almost not quite platinum but you want them to be really really light so that's what I'm doing and I'm not gonna put the lumen foil on the entire head but just to focus on the ends and when I get closer to the top, I'll explain how I do that. Now this section right here, I'm doing the exact same thing I did to the rest of the wig, but except I'm streaking the bleach 
through the hair so that I can turn those pieces into highlights later on. So I'm just gonna wrap this entire section in foil. Okay, so now that I'm at the front section, I'm going. I'm just gonna actually part off two little sections, like really, really small, on each side of the closure. And I'm gonna just start bleaching those pieces first and wrapping them up in foil because those two pieces, I want to be the lightest. So they're gonna sit the longest in the foil. So I'm just gonna wrap that up. And then I'm gonna start on the sides and start working my way up. And you see how like the sides are just this dark orange like uh, it's ugly but basically I'm just going to saturate both these two sides with bleach again because they're just too dark right now for me to even try to make it blonde and brown so I'm going to just completely saturate both of these sides in bleach and just wrap it up in foil. After I wash the bleach out, this is what the color looks like, but I gotta go back in and bleach the front two pieces again because those are not light enough. And I'm just gonna go around the wig and lighten some pieces that are still kind of too dark. But the ends are definitely like almost ash blonde, so I'm gonna keep those like that. And this front piece, I'm just gonna wrap it up in foil again, but girl. This goddamn color is so tedious. It's just so much work. It's like, it's not even hard. It's just like, it's just time consuming. Like you see me change my clothes about four times. Like, I think I did this process over a course of four days, but 
this is what the color looks like the wig is still wet so you can't really see all of it but the ends are definitely really really light and you can see some highlights in it and it just looks bomb right now so I'm just showing y'all what it looks like with it wet Now I'm going to go in with my Wella Toner in T18 and I'm just going to completely saturate the whole damn wig in it for about 30 minutes and wash it out and bam! It's still kind of like brassy like in the middle towards but that's cool because the ends is where I need it to be and the rest of the wig is just going to be like brown but I really want that brown to like pop so... You're going to go back in and section off the hair in five sections again because that's definitely important. So, now I'm going to be using the colors Revlon in medium brown, 47, and dark ash brown in 60. And I have another color I use, medium ash blonde in 70. So, you might want to write the names on the bottles because... Yeah, they start wiping off and you want to keep track of the color. I'm taking that medium brown and completely saturating the top of it. And I'm taking it all the way down to the middle, but a little bit past that. And I'm taking the dark ash blonde and I'm just putting that on the ends, like right where that platinum blonde starts and ends because I don't want that color to go up too high. So I'm just gonna do that for all the sections until I get to the very top and this is the very last section before I get to the front and the sides, if that makes any sense. So this, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to just going to add a few highlights. And what I'm doing with the highlights, I'm taking any little piece I see that's lighter than what the normal color is i'm taking that and saturating it in the dark ash blonde and then i'm just going to put that in a small piece of foil and wrap that up so i'm doing like maybe like two or three pieces of that but all this right here with the highlights that kind of depends on you how many highlights you want so yeah i'm gonna throw in a few highlights like sophiology because her wig was bomb but this took so goddamn long it took so long i'm like what the fuck but yeah that's another highlight right there
Okay, so I'm just completely wrapping this up in foil and I don't even know why, so it was really no point in doing it. But okay, I lied about it being the very last section for the back. So I'm doing the exact same thing. The ash blonde on the ends and the medium brown on the top. Yada yada yada. And I think this section again I'm throwing in like one or two highlights in it with separate um foil. So this is the very last section. Okay, now that we finally at the front, girl, we finally at the front, I'm gonna take that dark ash blonde and I'm gonna go a little bit higher with that color and I'm gonna leave a little bit for the medium brown to go because I want more of that ash blonde to show in the front. And I'm just gonna do that same thing on the other side. Now the two tiny pieces, I'm going to saturate both those small pieces in that medium ash blonde in 70. And that was the color that I last showed you guys for those two pieces to be just ash blonde, no brown. And I think I let this color sit in like overnight for real, for real, not even gonna lie to you. But this is the next day. Look at this color, y'all. My goodness, that highlight popping in the front, bruh. I was dumb pressed, like dumb pressed. Well, damn. <laughs> it chew. Like, I can't even. I'm proud of my damn self. You hear me? Like, I ain't even making another video after this. I don't know why, and that would have been bomb, but I didn't. Like, I just took a whole bunch of pictures at the wall zoo, but hey. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.